Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today is a very exciting day for Pixel users. Google surprisingly released a new Pixel drop in November 2025 that has some really cool features. So without further ado, let's jump in. Before showing you the new features, keep in mind that most of them are not yet available on any of my Pixel phones and some of them are also geo restricted, so I will not be able to show you how they work in real life. But thankfully, I got one of the features on my Pixel devices, which is located under the wallpaper and the style app. It's called Wicked for Good Theme Pack. And once you open the wallpaper and the style app, you will see a banner telling you about this feature. And when you scroll down, you will see a menu item called Theme Pack, either if you are under the lock screen or home screen settings. This is the first time for Google to add such a feature, so I'm really excited to see how it works. When you tap on it for the first time, it will ask you to sign in with your Google account at the bottom of the screen, which I already did. And then it will show you a quick preview for three different styles. The first one is called For Good, then we have Glenda and Alphaba. So when you tap on each style, this is the preview of each one. And if you want to customize each style, you will see an edit button here on top of each one. Tapping on it will give you even more stuff to do. The first tab we have at the bottom is called the wallpaper. And here you have the option to choose if you want to apply the wallpaper or not. And once you turn off the switch, you will see the word off under the tab. Then we have three different choices. The first one will give you two different wallpapers, one for the lock screen, and when you swipe, it will show you the home screen wallpaper, while the other two options will be the same exact wallpaper for the home and lock screen, and here is how they look. The next tab we have is called color, and here it will show you a quick preview of the color palette based on the theme you selected, and it's using the calculator app as an example. It says here that the color palette will be applied to your icons, text, and more to match the colors in the wallpaper. So for example, when I use this one and get back to color, it will show you the other color palette. Then we have the app icons tab, and it will show you a preview of the app icons. As you see, they animate, and you can also choose if you want to use the app icons or not. Then we have the clock style of this theme that you can also choose if you want to add it or not. Then we have GIFs and here it will pin some GIFs to your Gboard so you can use them in your chatting. And you have here a toggle to choose if you want to pin these GIFs or not. Then we have the sounds tab and this one will change the notification sound for three things, the ringtone, alarm and notifications. So let's take a listen. Here's the ringtone sound. And here is the alarm. And then we have the notification. Last but not least, we have a tab for Gboard and all you can do here is to choose if you want to apply this theme or not. So let's tap on download and see what's gonna happen. As you see at the top, it's downloading. It's showing you a notification in the notification shade. So let's wait for it and show you how it looks. Now the download is done and the button will change to apply. So let's tap on it and see what's gonna happen. You will get this animation while it's loading. And now it's done. Let's get back to the lock screen or the home screen. And here is how my home screen looks. Here are the colors. Let's take a look at Gboard. It got the theme previewed in the app. And here's how the lock screen looks. So that's pretty much it. You will get some uh, visual customizations to your phone in addition to some notification sounds. And that's pretty much it. And when it comes to Gboard, when you go to the GIF page, you will see a new for good category added for you, which has a lot more options than what we've seen in the preview. You need to scroll a lot to see the full list. Let's also go quickly through the other themes we have. So the Glenda one, here is how it looks when you tap on edit. Let me show you the other wallpapers you get. Here's the first one. Here's the second and the third, the color, the app icons, the clock, the GIFs. Here are the sounds. And this is the Gboard style. Last but not least, we have, we have Alphaba. Here's the first one. 
and we have the second and the third and here's the color the app icons the clock the gifs then we have the sounds and finally gboard one thing to keep in mind if you have the theme enabled when you change your wallpaper it doesn't turn off the theme but you have to do this yourself so for example you need to go back to the theme pack and choose no theme and hit the apply button to remove everything and return back to normal before talking about the next feature if you like the wallpapers you see in this video you can download them from the wallpapers by in-depth tech reviews app recently i added 46 new wallpapers and all of them look great on any smartphones also, a lot of them work really well with the live effects feature of Android 16, like this one. As you see here, it works really well. And you have the option to download these wallpapers locally on device so you can apply the effects on them by hitting this button and then tap on the download button at the top right corner like this. If you want to give it a try, you will find the Google Play Store download link in the description. And now let's get back to November Pixel Drop. Starting this point, none of the features Google mentioned in the Pixel Drop I was able to get my hands on, but we have this keyword article that will give us an idea about the new features. The first one is called Remix Any Photo Right in Your Messages. So for example, in Google Messages, you will be able to use the Gemini Nano Banana model to convert any photo to something else. So for example, a photo of this dog, you can convert it to something like this and share it with people. This feature works in individual and group chats and it says everyone, no matter what phone they use, can see your remixed photos. And when you tap on the tooltip, it says available in November 2025 and requires 18 plus age. It doesn't mention any phone restriction, so you should be able to use this on any of your Pixel devices. The second exciting feature is the AI powered notification summaries, similar to the one we have on iOS devices. And it says here your Pixel can now provide summaries of your longer conversations. Lengthy text across chat apps are easily recapped in your notifications shade. And it says that it works with group chats as well. When you tap on the tooltip, it says here only available for the Pixel 9 and above, excluding the Pixel 9, which is weird. Maybe they mean the Pixel 9a and it's a mistake. And this is a quick example on how the notification summaries work. On your lock screen, you should see a summary of the multiple messages you received from a specific contact. And it says also that in December, your Pixel will help further reduce notification overwhelm by organizing and silencing low priority notifications, saving you from unnecessary interruptions. As you see here, all the low priority notifications will appear under a header called silent and they will be grouped based on the type of the message. We have something like news, promotions, and so on and so forth. The next feature is the scam alerts in chat messages. It says that the feature is available for the Pixel 6 and the newer phones in the US. This feature will warn you about potential scams when you get chat notifications from many popular apps and it doesn't specify the app names. But when you take a look here at the example, you will get a chip in the notification shade to immediately mark this message as a scam and the chip says likely scam. When you tap on it, you will get an overlay card explaining everything. And when you tap on OK, this message will be marked as a scam. The Pixel VIPs feature got two new changes as per the article. And if you are not familiar with the Pixel VIPs, when you go to the contacts app and then go to organize, scroll down a bit, you will have Pixel VIPs. And these are the very special contacts you have. You can increase the number of contacts by tapping on the add button. What's new here is the notifications from your VIPs now get prioritized to keep you in close contact through the day and ensuring you don't miss a message. The second change is the VIPs will also now have a crisis badge in the contacts widget to keep you posted on critical alerts. And when you take a look at the example photo, you will see a badge here on top of the contact. And when you tap on it, you will see the alert in the floating card. And I assume this feature will only work if you have the contact location saved. And when you tap on the tooltip, it says here that this feature is only available for the Pixel 6 and above, and the availability may vary by country and language. Another exciting change in this Pixel Drop is the upgraded Help Me Edit feature in Google Photos. It will allow you to apply edits to people's faces and get more accurate results because it will use the photos in your gallery to identify their natural look. So for example, 
these are the people in my gallery. So when I ask Gemini to remove the uh, sunglasses from my face, it will try to identify my eyes look from the other photos I have to give me the most natural look of the edit. But unfortunately, this feature is only available in the US. And here is a quick example on how this feature works. When you go to the photo editor, you should see a help me edit text box at the bottom left corner. You give it the command and wait for a few seconds. It will apply the edits and give you multiple options to choose from. But to me, the most exciting feature in this update is the new power saving mode in Google Maps. This one will show you a simplified layout or a black and white version of the navigation screen, which in return will save you a lot of battery life. And as per Google's article, it says it will save up to four hours of battery life, which is massive. And when you tap on the tooltip, this feature is available on all Pixel models, starting from the base one up to the 10 Pro Fold. And all you need to do to enter the power saving mode is to press the power button while having the navigation screen active. And in my opinion, this is a very smart and easy way to do it, which will not distract you much while driving. Google also expanded some of the features that was restricted to the US before. And the first one is the scam detection feature that uses AI to detect and warn you of speech patterns commonly used by scammers on phone calls is now available to the Pixel 9 Plus users in the UK, Ireland, India, Australia, and Canada. And the tooltip says that the Pixel A series are excluded. And here are the full list of countries that will get this feature. They also expanded the availability of the call notes feature to more countries like Australia, Canada, the UK, Ireland, and Japan. And when you tap on the tooltip, it says here that the summaries are not available in Japan. And when you go to the previous one, it's also available on the Pixel 9 models, excluding the A series. And here you can see the full list of countries. And if you have a Pixel 10, Magic Q should now be faster as Google upgraded the private AI compute in the cloud, which should give you more speed and power to run the Gemini models. But this is not everything as Google shared even more features in the community forum post. So let me show you what's new. Google expanded the device health and support page to all tensor-based models, starting from the Pixel 6 to the Pixel 9. This feature was exclusive to the Pixel 10 previously, and if you are not familiar with it, here is how it looks. When you go to the settings app and scroll all the way down, you should see device health and support. Here you can see everything related to your device health in one page instead of going through multiple pages under settings. So for example, you have your battery health diagnostics, the device temperature, then we have the storage, the software update, charging diagnostics it will do some diagnostics same as the touch diagnostics as well and then we have the warranty tips and support and contact support another feature that was also exclusive to the pixel 10 models is the journal app which is now available to the pixel 8 and 9 models when i searched for the app in google play store i was able to uninstall it so you should be able to do this as well. They also expanded the magnifier app availability and now you can use it on your Pixel Fold phones. This app is already pre-installed on the Pixel 6 models and in newer, which helps you enlarge things using the camera, turn on the flashlight and adjust the brightness or find text in photos. So it's a very helpful app and now you can use it on your Pixel phone. The Pixel Sounds app that we use to set our ringtones, notifications, and alarm sounds got six new deeply immersive ringtones, alarms, and notifications with a new theme called Wild Hokkaido. So let me show you how it looks when you go to the settings, then sound and vibration, and then go to ringtone. You will see a redesigned Pixel Sounds app that we first got on the Pixel 10 models. And now you can see it on the previous models as well. When you go to Sound Matters, you will see all the Hokkaido ringtones over here. They should be six, and we have the same under the notifications, six new notification sounds. And finally, under the alarm, we have the same thing. The AI mode is now accessible from your home screen search bar. This feature we got first in QPR1, but now we have it also in the stable version. When you tap on this magnifying glass with the AI star next to it, it will take you immediately to the AI mode inside Google app. The last two changes in this post is the MyPixel app is now available to use in Canada, France, Germany, India, Italy, and Spain. And if you don't know the MyPixel app, here is how it looks. It's a place where you can 
get all the tips and tricks about your Pixel phone. Now you can use it in more regions. And lastly, the recorder app summarization feature expands to new languages on the Pixel 9 phones, which are Hindi, Italian, and traditional Chinese. And on Pixel 8 phones, they expand to English, Japanese, German, French, Hindi, Italian, and traditional Chinese. So these are all the new features included in November 2025 Pixel Drop. Unfortunately, I didn't get most of them to show you how they work in action, but I will create a follow-up video once I get these features on my Pixel phones, so stay tuned for this one. And now it's time to talk about the bug fixes. The first fix is related to an audio issue that caused occasional system instability and the performance slowdowns under certain conditions. That includes the Pixel 8 models and newer. Then we have a fix or general improvements for charging and battery usage for all devices that support this update. We have a fix for the camera as well. The photos taken with the ultra wide and telephoto lenses to exhibit a rainbow like color pattern under certain conditions. And that include the Pixel 9 and 10 models. Then we have two fixes under the framework category to all devices, which address an issue that prevented some apps from loading under certain conditions. And another one related to the webcam mode didn't work properly with connected devices under certain conditions. So that's it with the bug fixes. Now let's talk about my experience with the performance and the stability of this update while filming the video. And by the way, I have it installed on the 9 Pro XL because my 10 Pro XL is running QPR2 beta. So let's take a look at the performance and the stability. This is a fresh new install on the 9 Pro XL. And from my experience, I didn't come across any major issues or showstoppers. The software works really, really well. And when it comes to the Geekbench scores, I think they are within the same numbers I always get. I just did it now and I got 4,556 for the multi-core score and 1,948 for the single core. I also did one for the GPU and it's about the same. It's slightly worse than the previous test but it's about the same score. So I couldn't see anything major when it comes to performance so far, and I need some time to know if the battery is better or not. So that's pretty much it for today. These are all the new changes in November 2025 Pixel Drop. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.